We're pleased to be joined by Tim Phillips. He is the president of Americans for Prosperity. Tim is a 2012 Politico Top 25 Public Policy Player. He managed Bob Goodlatte's successful campaign for Congress in 1992 and served as Bob's chief of staff, I believe, when I got elected to Congress. So, Tim, it's good to have you joining us by telephone today. J.D., good to talk to you. I'm buried in D.C. traffic. Well, we are pleased that no matter the traffic, modern communications allows you to make a connection with us. And you're trying, to make, a, you're trying to make a connection with grassroots voters in North Carolina and elsewhere. But, Tim, as I see that ad, it, it is another ad on television, is it not? Is, is, is the notion being, okay, we're going we're gonna to try to do something a little more every man? Is that the grassroots appeal you're hoping for? No, absolutely, J.D. We've got over 500 staff in these battleground states, places like North Carolina and Louisiana and Arkansas, uh, on the ground working with grassroots activists, volunteers. I was actually in Denver, Colorado just this past week for three days uh, there walking door-to-door -door with our teams, and it's intense on the ground. I mean, it, the left has their troops. We know that. And now most of them are paid for by us. They're community groups, uh, so-called, that get taxpayer funding or they're union groups. But uh, we've got to make sure we've got our troops, and we're working hard to do that. So it's really a one-two punch. Yes, the traditional television approach, but you have a ground game in place of conservative volunteers to help in these uh, crucial states with major Senate campaigns. That's exactly right. We've been building this for the last decade. We launched in late, early 2004, uh, and we're determined to match what the other side is doing on the ground. And we're not there yet, frankly, uh, but we're a lot further along than we were in, in, in even 2010 or 2012. And I can tell you, the, the, the folks on the ground, our activists, uh, are excited about where we stand right now. They, they know we have a big opportunity to retire Harry Reid. They absolutely know that. Well, retire him as majority leader, anyway. And you talk about retiring Harry Reid, a much more direct approach with Kay Hagan there, fire her. The notion that it's Absolutely. a job these people hold. And is that the uh, the essence of the marketing campaign you're using right it now? Is. It's, it, it's a straightforward message. Obamacare is failing uh, the country, hurting a lot of Americans, harming their health care. Uh, this economy is not growing the way it should have been growing after we've been six years past the big recession. Uh, and it's because of, of the economic policies uh, of Harry Reid and his folks in the United States Senate. And, and, it, and as the ad says, and as you just said, folks can do something about it. They can fire these guys, and they can fire them in two weeks, two weeks from the day. Of course, uh, the other side seeks to fire up its base by uh, demonizing certain people. Uh, the Koch brothers come to mind. Uh, right. For the record, what is your organization's relationship with the Koch brothers? David Koch is our chairman of Americans for Prosperity Foundation. We're proud to have his leadership. Charles, his brother, and David both are financial supporters of the organizations, and really they've been a guiding uh, light from the standpoint of, of, of inspiration uh, for this. They've been in the arena, J.D., for, gosh, five years now, or five decades now, uh, pushing for economic freedom policies, and this is nothing new to them. The attacks from the left are nothing new to them. Uh, and we don't disclose uh, our donors. And I'll, I get some flack from the left sometimes, but I'll tell you, when you see the abuses of the Internal Revenue Service under this administration, when you see how they've used government agencies to go after people who simply disagree with them on the issues, uh, we think it's the right thing uh, to not disclose the identity of our financial supporters because they'll become targets. Well, there, there's been a debate, uh, an ongoing debate, Tim, about uh, turning around with a mirror image on the uh, on the big money folks on the left, and it seems to be happening somewhat. What's your approach? I, I think the Koch brothers have been proactive trying to say, here's who we are and this is what we do. Uh, that's one strategy, but what about going after the guys on the left supplying uh, the money to uh, leftist causes? Yeah, we we don't do that, and, and here's why. We think it's the, the right and really even the responsibility of every American to, to be involved, to at a minimum vote, for goodness sake. Make sure you at least vote. But if you can give your time or if you've been blessed with the financial resources with your money, uh, we, we think that's a healthy thing for representative democracy. And uh, we urge folks to join our efforts financially or grassroots-wise and 
uh, you know, whether it's George Soros or Tom Steyer, they're welcome to be in the arena as well. What's frustrating is the hypocrisy, right? They, they, the left loves to say, and some in the mainstream media, they, they, they love to say, oh, well, the billionaires on the free market side, on the conservative side, they're evil, they're bad. But the billionaires on the left, those are good guys. And, and it, it, it's laughable, but it's, but it's also a serious hypocrisy, and we do want to call that out. Well, we can understand the hierarchy of needs and the races moving front and center with the election two weeks away. Uh, we saw the ad from North Carolina. Tell us about the ground game you've put together uh, in the old North State. Yep, we have nine field offices across North Carolina, uh, stretching from Charlotte all the way over to, to Wilmington on the, the eastern seaboard. Uh, and we've got a wonderful grassroots operation. I'll be there on Thursday, as a matter of fact, J.D., uh, and it's at a crucial stage. Early voting now is starting in these states, states like North Carolina, so folks are able to go vote now. It's amazing. You know, in the old days, you know, 20 years ago when I was a young man working for a Bob Goodlatte, uh, that you mentioned in Congress, you know, Election Day was everything, right? But it's changed now. I, I was in Colorado, we talked about last week, and every citizen in that state got a ballot in the mail last week on Tuesday and Wednesday, and it's all vote by mail. JD. I mean, think about that. If they go to their polling place that they've always gone to on Election Day, it will not be open. Uh, they'll have to find a, a you know a provisional place to go to within their county or city. So it's changed dramatically the way it has the changed are. dramatically. One thing that doesn't change in television, Tim Phillips, you can appreciate this. It's the specter of time that becomes a four letter word in more ways than one. And we're <laughs> out of time right now. Tim Phillips of Americans for Prosperity we will invite you back to talk more as the midterms approach. For now, we Great thank you, you very much for your time working to get out the vote. Both sides are hard at work doing it. America's Forum will continue following this Newsmax Now update.